Hello there. My name's Cliff and welcome to my channel. If you haven't viewed before, then think about subscribing and you get all sorts of lovely videos. Okay, I've made the bulkhead. Uh, it's trial fitted, holes drilled, so I'm just going to owl dite it in. Owl dite. Epoxy it in. Put it on there. Somewhere on here, I've got a lovely big rubber band I can put around here just to hold it nice and tight against the... Uh, like that, just while it sets off. So there we are guys, engine bulkhead in and we'll leave that to set. Uh, at the moment, uh, it's not a flying video today, I'm continuing the build of my Manic biplane and the next thing I'm doing actually is I'll just angle you down you can see I'm working on the hatch I've glued in the front former for the engine mount it's only a uh, four mil ply something like that doesn't need to be any thicker and uh, mounted the motor a couple of little blocks in behind to hold it nice and solid it's epoxied in so that's ready to go but I'm just working on the formers for the top hatch and I've cut one already as per the plan uh, two uh, one at the front maybe I've got to have a front former of some sort that can sit in there a couple of laminations just to bring that up to a good thickness can't see that there you go so I need one two three more i might need to cut these out a little bit to get the battery in because the battery box if i offer it in is there and the battery is quite tall well as you can see straight away i'll have to just take out the middle of this a little bit just to accommodate my box so let's cut out three more of those anyway Where should we pop you? So I'll pop you up there. There we are. Hello again. Hello, hello, hello. There we go. The easiest way to do this is probably just to and cut it on the board here, straight over. Angle's already cut. Might make that slightly deeper on the top. <clears throat> In fact, that's not a bad idea. Still slightly too wide. For that we'll call that one one from the back well from the front one two three four so this is number two it's a snug fit great if you're gluing it in but it's not it's part of the hatch so let's go with a couple more strokes and we'll be there Perfect. 
Right, now, these are the floor, floor, floor formers. These are the floor formers. So we got one at the back, and I'm gonna have that bit facing forward, like that. The two, I'm gonna have roughly in the middle. No, the four is from the front, didn't we? Number three goes there. Number two up here somewhere. Number one, which I'm going to like that. The front. To be honest, the previous builders made a quite a sort of hash of that front form. I'm tempted just to cut it off and put a new one on complete. I think I'll take it off now. And uh, then it'll give me a nice square front edge to work to and make up a completely new one. Because it's all a bit hashed around, cut about. No point in bodging it up. easier than I thought. Alright, what have we got? Let's have a look. Possible, of course it's not bad and the other thing I want to do the the uh, covering is just fraying a little bit there so I'm going to put a little bit of CA on there just to whoops just to bind it all in a little bit we proceed by popping these formers back in Let's go out a minute. Number one was there. A little bit of wiggle room for the hatch to sit in there. So that's the length of my top and sides. Now what do we say then? We're going to go eighth on the sides or three sixteenth? Eighth. Three sixteenth for the top. Okay. All coming together. Now I'm not sure size to cut the top one yet. Set the fuse lines back over. Can't work that side I'm afraid. I know you can see it but I'm not left-handed. So we've got number four going around that way. That. Number three. Number three. Three, three, three. And about there. It's not critical. Number two. About there. And number one right at the front. Now I've got to somehow shape this. It's got to go in the corner. So I think I'm going to just take out the corner slightly just to help it in there. Uh, I've got a sound. Take down the bottom edge which is going to affect the size of this so I may as well take the bottom down at the angle now uh, which side is it it's this side ok 
Okay. This will stick. Let's just angle that slightly. The reason I can't, I'm not using the CA as a um, bottle is because the nozzle has glued itself to the um, inside of the dispenser, so I'm having to dunk it, which works. Let's bring you up a little bit. Let's bring you over here. Bend you up a little bit. Let me if I can put some up there like that. Like that. Then bring that bit there and pop it in. Oh, like that. And pop that up there. Make sure it's upright. Bring that in a little bit to there. Going to run a little bit more on this bit because I knocked it off, which is fine. So it means I can get a decent amount of CA in there now. So this is what you call building without pins and building without clamps building with CA just building as you go it's better you can see a bit now okay look at that wind pop some in there oh Ooh, nearly lost it important one to get in it's got to be at the front like that now these this overhang needs to be trimmed off so it's a piece of wood on the top and go flat on so uh, it's probably the next next job to do it certainly ain't going to be with the sandpaper. It's not a lovely sound. Just pop that on there. I'm going to use our leaf. No, I'm not. I'm going to use CA. I'm going to use CA and I can run aliphatic in because I want to crack on with this. Back in a minute and we'll sand that to shape. But we'll just let it dry. So that's the front, that's the back. Yeah, smashing, proper job. See you shortly, guys. Thanks for watching. Do appreciate it. Do appreciate your comments as well. So if you want to make any comments, it gives me impetus and enthusiasm to crack on with the job. See you in a minute. So the hatch is dry and I'm going to now start to shape her up. So I'll angle you down and I'm going to shape it up. So I start with the plane. Okay, give it a little a 
leveling up with that. I think that's got to be offered up. Have a quick look. That's got to be sanded flush at the front. Beautiful. What about that then? What about that? Not a bad fit. Now, next job is to make up a new front former. Now I've got to try and decide, do I go all the way up or do I cut it there and have a half a job? Um, not sure because um, I have to lift this directly up if it's to come off. And it'll be a bit of a tight fit getting it past the front former. But if I cut it there, then the whole lot can come off in one. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Should I glue it with aliphatic, I suppose? Take a fair amount of glue. And smooth it out with that. That'll do. So I've got to cut a hole in the centre of it for the um, motor. Go right to the edge. Oop. Pop that on there. to make it up 16th of an inch as well which I can do afterwards just run one piece up the side really I ought to cut it down because if I'm to weight it then it's got to be perfect Weight this down. I'm gonna weight it down on glass because the glass is flat. So that's the top hatch done. I've got the front former coming, so I can stick that on. Uh, tell you what I can do. The inside of this is going to be. Uh, where's my? There it is. The inside of this is going to be too big for the battery box so let's put that in okay back again um, that was fun my phone shut down just now because it was zero percent charge didn't notice that anyway while you've been away I've been busy making finishing the hatch um, I've just put three little um, cutouts in there to clear the battery battery box anyway and I've got F1 drying. So let me tip you down. You'll see how this goes on. So it's got little uh, cutouts either side. It's actually designed, of course, to, to be glued in position. But I need the hatch for the, um, for the uh, battery. So it just sits in like that. And it's it's um it's shaped itself in pretty well. Quite pleased with that. What I'm gonna do on is stick the front former on, shape it up, and then cut it through so as the top half of the former comes off uh, with the uh, hatch. So quite pleased with that progress. It's looking pretty sharp. We go back a little bit. I mean it's <laughs> bit uh, utilitarian shall we say but that's the that's the uh, the hatch done anyway so quite pleased with that oops so what we'll say is that's it for now and I'll see you in the next video which is going to be for uh, what we're going to do 
got to hinge the ailerons, I've got to fit the servos in the wings, and then, I mean, we're getting close, still got the undercarriage to bend up, oh, I hate bending wire undercarriages, uh, so much so I haven't done it for years and years, but anyway, it's got to be done, and then I can mount the motor, see how that's all shaping up, quite looking forward actually to making the front, because I want to make it looking like an SE5 a little bit, with a one big radiator right on the front, so not sure if I can find some like very fine mesh can make a grill that would look oh hang on a minute mind you yeah it might work I might have something actually have to have a look oh, I still got the machine gun to make for the top that's going to be fun I'm going to make a machine gun and I've got twin exhausts to go on the side because if you remember I quite like the idea of exiting the air I'm going to have air going in, but it's only a hole in the bottom. That's not going out. That's still coming in, really. It'll just ventilate the motor heat. The battery in the ESC heat is going to be further back. So I'm thinking if I make these exhaust stacks um, working with some holes through the sides to let the heat out, it'll get drawn out, hopefully sucked out by the airflow. That'll help keep things a bit cooler. So that's it for now. Uh, like and uh, subscribe certainly subscribe anyway even if you don't like it and i'll see you in the next video which will be part five anyway whatever it is thanks for looking in and see you soon thanks bye